Dobro Yuko, Divine Pisces, 222. It is Tuesday, October 15th, 2019. Going to do an energy check-in for the Twin Flames today. Um, Alright, so, yeah. Um, I do feel a lot of purging going on right now with Divine Feminine especially, but definitely Divine Masculine as well. Divine Masculine is more of definitely an emotional purging. I do feel this. Uh, I feel a lot of past life karma, um, a lot of built up emotional baggage, so to speak, being being cleansed, uh, being purged. Uh, divine feminine, on the other hand, and this is so funny because this this did happen to me. I had this crazy urge to purge everything in my life, and I do feel that's happening across the board with with divine feminines right now. Just wanting to kind of get rid of things that remind them of things that no longer serve them, you know. And this could be this could be. Emotional as well, too, but I do feel a lot of this is physical. It's like physical purging Also purging of situations getting away from situations that don't serve them and that sort of thing. So that's really good And yeah, there are changes happening definitely cycles are ending and Changes happening within the twins themselves, you know divine feminine still going through ascension divine masculine going through awakenings transformations that sort of thing um, so really ascending, really changing, really looking within to, to actually make the change within themselves uh, to choose to be happy and to choose to be complete within oneself, right? Which is, of course, the, the point of the journey, right? Uh, so, yeah, I do feel also, you know, I love this depiction here, the ascension here. But Divine Feminine really tapping into her spiritual side today, I do feel that. Uh, tapping into her emotions, definitely. Um, understanding her emotions, understanding the triggers, and, and really learning to heal, um, really learning to heal those triggers that she's, she's understanding, you know, and she's not even looking, she's not even looking at this point, she's just going within, she's, she's learning how to feel it out, learning how to navigate it, uh, without having to actually look, you know, so she's starting to use that intuition, which is really, really good, and I feel a lot of Divine Feminines have really heightened intuition right now, and Divine Masculines as well. I do feel Divine Masculines are learning to do this. Again, this is all part of the purging. They're learning how to purge. They're learning how to purge properly um, and taking it step by step, right? And uh, right now, like a lot of Divine Masculines definitely are not forgiving themselves for things that they've done. Um, Divine Feminine, I do feel also sometimes going back and forth in this energy. It's like, you know, and I know we talked about regret before. Um, and, th and I, I, at, at, at first it didn't resonate with me, but then a little bit later I realized, yeah, there are some things that I definitely regretted and I had to purge that. I had to get out of that energy, right? So I know, you know, a lot of people were like, well, I don't regret anything. Well, maybe, but maybe not. Maybe you do. Maybe there is something underlying that you still need to work on. Maybe there's still a trigger in there somewhere that you glanced over or that you, decided wasn't worth the time, so you swept it under the rug, right? Um, so remember that forgiveness of oneself is one of the most important aspects of this journey, okay? And Divine Masculine's definitely got uh, impatient, or um, does, doesn't have forgiveness for himself right now. That, that's kind of the energy that he's in. So Divine Feminine, how are you not forgiving yourself? Because you mirror, right? So if Divine Masculine is not forgiving himself, he doesn't think Divine Feminine has forgiven him yet, which means that he has not forgiven himself right? So Divine Feminine, how have you not forgiven yourself? How have you not forgiven your Divine Masculine? Okay? So look into that. Go within if you need to. You know, you might not on the surface realize what it is, but once you do a little bit of meditation, maybe a trigger is going to pop up and you're going to be like, oh my God, I had completely forgotten about this and I didn't even, for I, I, you know, I didn't forgive it. So, so, you know, keep that in mind, okay? Because um, the, the, I do feel that forgiveness is key right now. Surrender is key, definitely. Um, surrendering to the divine, surrendering to the journey, definitely. But forgiveness, I feel, is being highlighted here. So purging is part of forgiveness, if you think about it. Because you're purging the, um, uh, the negative aspects, okay, of yourself, right? Which, at the same time, means that you're forgiving yourself for things. So you're forgiving, right? So forgiveness and purging very highlighted today. All right. You may be feeling some ups and downs from the divine masculine today. I do feel divine masculine's very watery, which is 
really interesting because my guides pointed out the mermaid tarot for, for Divine Masculine today, <laughs> which obviously is very watery. So I do feel a lot of emotions coming from Divine Masculine today. So you may be feeling that, yeah. A lot of them definitely not feeling strong today, not feeling worthy. But you know what? They are gaining that strength little bit by little bit, okay? Some of them still feeling trapped in some of these situations, but you know what? Here comes Divine Feminine doing her thing and helping them release their bonds, okay? So they are looking to Divine Feminine for help. You may be getting dreams. You may be getting 5D communication, song messages, things like that. Um, I actually, I had been tapering off my telepathy. I had been tapering off that 5D communication little bit by little bit. And yesterday I finally said, no more. Okay. Uh, no more telepathy. Period. You can come see me in dreams if you want. You know, if you need help, that's fine. I'm still, still sending energy, but if you actually want to talk to me, you can come see me in the 3D. Alright, you know where to find me. Alright, so they're feeling, they're definitely feeling trapped in codependency right now. And honestly, you know, it's so interesting because I kind of had this mini conversation with Maleficent yesterday on her video where she was, we were talking about telepathy and how it keeps the, the divine masculine stuck in the 3D, okay? So if you're actively engaging in telepathy, you know, do what's right for you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you you can't, alright? That is not the point of this. I am just giving you advice, okay? You don't have to take it. That's fine. But if you're actively in, get in, engaging in, in 5D communication like tele telepathy and that sort of thing, it can keep him stuck in a state of codependency. Because why? Because he's depending on that. Okay? He's reaching out to you. It's like a way for him to reach out to you without having to deal with any of his crap in the 3D. <laughs> right? And in a way, it's a comfort thing. It is a comfort thing. It definitely is. It is a comfort thing. Um, but it can also get to a point of codependency to where it keeps him stuck in the 3D, okay? Now, I'm not saying that's why he's stuck, okay? It, different situations call for different things, and that's fine. I'm just saying it, it, it is possible that that is something that's keeping him stuck. And I also, I will say, if you're stuck in a codependent cycle, your Divine Masculine is going to be co stuck in a codependent cycle. And guess what? I quit smoking. I just quit. I just stopped cold turkey. I can usually do that for some reason. I, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> as long as I'm not surrounded by stress, I can quit. So, you know, that I've taken that step. So definitely need to look within and see what's keeping you stuck in a codependent cycle because it's probably keeping your divine masculine stuck as well, whatever that may be. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, I do feel divine masculines are, are, um, their way is being, uh, lit up. Their path is being lit up right now. So they're, it's like they're, for the longest time, they weren't really seeing the bigger picture. They were just seeing triggers everywhere and now it's like they're seeing synchronicities with the triggers that they've had and it's leading them into this realization of oh my god this all makes sense this all makes sense i'm i'm not crazy this all makes sense <laughs> so he's seeing the triggers he's seeing the signs he's understanding the signs and synchronicities as he's getting those downloads right it's making so much sense to him now. He's able to see the bigger picture. Okay? Everything that's happened to him up till now, it's like, bingo! And this is part of what's he, what he's purging right now. I do feel they're going through almost like a... Well, yeah, it is an awakening, but it's more of like an epiphany. Like a... It's a kind of a tower. Like an aha moment. Like, Oh my God. And they're sitting there and they're thinking about things, the things that have happened in the past, the things that have happened to them, even not even things that didn't even involve divine feminine, but things that have led them to where they are in order to meet their divine feminine. Okay. Divine feminine's already kind of been through this. Okay. They're, they're thinking about the synchronicities, right? So divine masculine is in this, Oh my God. Holy crap. All of this stuff that I've been through has led to this. Now I know what I need to do. You know? So they're in this they're in this spot right now. And the Queen of Pentacles um, usually represents karmic situation. You know, in this case, it could. It could represent karmic situation. Um, but right now, I, I actually see this as Divine Feminine right now. So Divine Masculine viewing Divine Feminine <laughs> manifesting her coins. She's in this, this energy of she's just... She's just going at it. She's doing her thing. Like, she's she's manifesting like crazy. Right? And he's a, he's a little jealous. 
but at the same time, very, very inspired by this, okay? Um, because it's, it's telling him that he can manifest anything he wants, okay? And, you know, he's been, you know, kind of in this energy of, well, I'm good where I'm at, but not really. It's like he's putting on this facade, right? So now he's understanding that the things around him, right, the things, the situations that he is in are not good for him. They don't make him happy. Okay. So, epiphany. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> so, and so they're figuring out, right, the next step. Right? They're making that decision. They're figuring out that they need to be here. Not here. Okay? So it's happening little by little, step by step for Divine Masculine. All right. All right, let's take a look at Divine Feminine today. No, oh, no, that is way too many. Too many. All right, I still don't know who sent me these, the good tarot, so thank you very much. It's very, very sweet. Um, all right, so Divine Feminine, yeah, purging. I do feel purging happening with Divine Feminine right now. Again, could be emotional purging. I don't feel it's necessarily bad at this point. I don't feel a negative aspect here. I feel a positive one. So it's almost like, yes, we're purging, but we're purging um, happily. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's like, yes, I know what I need to get rid of, so just mm, get out. Get out of my life. I don't want it. You know? So it's not like, oh, I'm going to miss this. No, it's more of like, bye. You know? Uh, so I think that's interesting because a lot of times we associate purging with negativity and purging with, with, like, feeling sad and feeling lonely, but not in this case. It's more of a, like, I'm so happy to get rid of this crap. I don't need it. Never needed it don't want it but bye right so kind of going into hermit mode trying to figure out what they need to clear but again and not not an oh woe is me hermit mode more of a I'm gonna take care of myself I feel good yeah I like this this is good yeah you know like it's it's really interesting to me and of course there's a nine so kind of going within to what birth our next move right um, and I do feel a lot of Divine Feminine stepping into, into mission, right? Which I do feel has led to, and, and this is a tower card, but again, not a bad tower, like a aha, right? Aha, I know what I need to purge now. I know what I need to get rid of now. I know what my next move is, right? So all of this soul searching, all this hermit mode, all of this purging has led to aha, I know what I need to do next, um, right? The wheel is spinning. I'm spinning the wheel. Luck is on my side. I am manifesting like crazy. I know how to manifest. It just clicked to me. I know how to manifest, so I'm just, I'm just gonna keep manifesting, right? So it's like, it's really interesting. So you got this, the purging, right? The inner child work. Inner child work highlighted here, right? Leading to the hermit mode, you know, trying to figure out what to do next, right? Going within and figuring out and then boom, all of a sudden, yes, I know what I need to do. I know how to get the wheel spinning, right? And doing it, <laughs> right? Standing in the truth, balancing yourself out, ascending, right? And of course, I know it doesn't, It's. I think it's a shield, but it looks kind of like a moon, right? So, so the illusions are coming off and of course it's an 11 card, right? is justice. So balancing out, understanding what we need to do next, and, and just learning to fly, learning to release, learning to surrender, right? And igniting that fire within, igniting that passion, igniting the creativity to move forward in our mission, igniting the creativity to move forward in our jobs, or whatever it is that we're, we're, that we're doing, right? That inner fire. Okay? So, I really like, I like this card. I don't know why. It's really pretty. Okay, so yeah, finding that inner light, finding that inner peace. I just saw 1444. I thought that was interesting. All right. 
All right, so I'm gonna alternate. I know some people like it when I read, some people don't. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna alternate, all right? So today I'm not gonna read them. Yesterday I did. I might add commentary. I'm trying to find a happy medium, but you know what? I'm not in that people-pleasing mode anymore. <laughs> just, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do the best I can, okay? All right, so yeah, a lot of deception, definitely. Okay. That doesn't surprise me. They're spying on you for sure. Definitely. Okay. The social media, um, maybe they're getting getting the info on you from friends, family. They might literally be stalking you. Okay. Um, you know, buying things to hide the pain. Yeah, there's a lot of regret here. A lot of regret here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very intense. I, it's getting more intense, guys. It's getting more intense, I do feel. I don't understand why this is a was. It's almost like they're they're realizing that they were actually in love with you the entire time. Sexual energy very high today, guys. All those dirty things. Um, yeah. They're missing you. Because you light up my life. Right? Okay. So, <laughs> alright. So let's get some messages from Source. Some messages and advice on healing. What to do next. What's our next move, Source? Oh, God. I think that's too many. But you know what? I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to roll with it. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Love connection, very strong today, guys. So feeling that, that love connection, feel it, you know, the mirroring's happening right now. You're probably feeling them right next to you. They're feeling you. The love connection, very, very strong today. Okay, but also understanding the point of the journey is self-love, right? So yeah, I do feel a lot of uh, things are coming to light. A lot of masks are going to be coming off. I do feel some of you are going to be getting information, probably maybe directly from divine from your divine counterpart but i do feel a lot of things are going to come into light you might be learning some things about your counterpart about what they're being they've been going through for, um maybe through friends that sort of thing you know they're getting themselves out of these situations but you at the same time you know you're trying to get out of your situation you're purging you're getting out of this fear mentality you're understanding that you're actually not trapped that you're just as free as you believe yourself to be right watch that ego make sure you're not dipping back into the ego back into the negativity okay uh it's easy to get into that that mode especially when you're kind of feeling good you kind of get in the self-righteous mode but that's an ego move so don't do that guys stay out of that mode if you can okay um i do feel a lot of divine masculine still uh, at this time going through dark night but i do feel that they're coming out of it okay uh and i know that some of them are longing for you that's why they're reaching out the way that they are in the 5d okay and I, I do feel your longing as well for your divine counterpart you're longing for each other you feel like there's something missing but you need to get back into the uh um that uh i have everything i need sort of mentality okay you don't need anything there's nothing missing there's nothing actually missing you're already home you're already home within yourself okay and divine masculine has got to learn this as well Okay, Divine Masculine has got to learn that they light their own flame. Okay, they light their own flame. And they're rising out of the ashes. A lot of them have been through some serious tower moments, and so have you. So have you, Divine Feminine. So just keep rising, keep rebuilding. Make sure you're building it better and faster and stronger, though. You're not rebuilding the same tower over and over again to have it fall. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If this has resonated, please like, share, subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.